Yo, what's up, guys? I'm Froggy, and in this video, I'm going to be playing through Super Mario Bros. 3 uh, using warps. So here we go. I beat this game yesterday for the first time with like no cheats, uh, or no, with no game genie, no nothing, or you know original hardware, all that. Um, so um. Yeah. So here we go. This title screen's amazing. Uh, so um, here we go. I was gonna let this title screen play out though, cause it's sick. Luigi throws the the show. What's missing is music. There's no music on the title screen, but there is in like the uh. All Stars and GBA version. Anyways, we got like Koopa Troopas walking. I love this part. We got like Koopa Troopas walking. Wait for me. And the other one's like behind. Anyways, um, fun fact: this game is all, all this. You know the um, this game. It's just a stage performance. It's not real. So Mario Two was a was a dream and this is just a stage performance which explains the explains the uh that explains the uh that explains the uh I cannot think that explains the curtains opening and closing at the beginning and end so yeah this game is Mario 2 is a dream and this this is a stage performance so yeah, but, um, also, uh, at the end of, you know how in, at the end of levels, there's, like, a, a black part that's, like, just, like, black? That's backstage. That's backstage. That's, like, to the side, I guess. I guess it also explains the pictures in the sky. But, like, see, this is backstage. A star from the, the thing. So um, basically, I'm gonna be warping the world eight using a cool trick. So you just play through one and level one and two like normal. Which thing saying I'm playing through it doesn't really just feels wrong because I'm like pretty much only playing world eight. Like I'm not playing a whole lot of the game. So like saying playing through it like kind of doesn't feel right. Anyways, by the way, my tripod broke. But uh, and you know, okay, my tripod broke. But so I started like stacking stuff on top of each other. Well, I have it like a table tripod. It's like a mini tripod. And I just stacked that on top of like some books and a chair. So like So like I still have like a mini tripod, but I still have to like put it on top of stuff. So Yeah, so basically you crouch on that white block and you go back behind you can go behind the black part and you will end up here. Why did you want this research? Okay. I was trying to make Toad's voice. I feel like I did a pretty good job. I'm Toad! Anyways, so boom. Now don't use it yet. We gotta go to the castle. And. Uh, don't get that. I mean, if you do, there's a tail over here. There's a, there's a leaf over here, so like it doesn't really matter if you get that, but um. Anyways. Whoa, well, I was also. Anyway, so. You fly up here. And then you get this other warp whistle. And then what you do is you use this warp whistle to go to the warp zone. 
right here and then you use the other one again on the warp zone to just go straight to world eight baby we're at world eight right now as we speak yay cool fun here we go okay so we're at this uh it's an airship it's like a ground car thing uh oh, it's not that hard um are you serious are you serious right now bro i'm like off to the side so it's like i'm not right in front of it Playing uh, games on original hardware, like emulating them, it's just not the same. You know what I mean, oh, come on, <sighs> stupid. <gasps> I managed to dodge both of those. Stupid Rocky Wrench, which Rocky Wrench and Monty Mo, they're the same species. I'm pretty sure they just have different tasks. The Monty Moles just chase you, while the Rocky Wrenches actually have like a assigned job. Uh oh. Don't blow me up, please. Wanna avoid those cannonballs? I'll put a hurt on you. Those big cannonballs, they go fast. They put a hurt on you. Anyways, we got this boomerang, bro. And, uh, a superstar. Yay? Okay. Next to this boat, which there's a cheat you can do here. You can just like swim under it. Let me show you. So that's not lava. It's just red. I guess it's just red because of the lighting. But I'm smart. You gotta be kidding. Me. But basically, that isn't lava. In fact, like lava. Actually, it should be obvious because like lava doesn't look like that. You know, if you've seen actual lava, it like bubbles. And this isn't bubbling. You know, it has a different texture. It has a different sprite. But basically, you can just swim underneath it. Look at this. I'm just swimming underneath it. Also, if it was also if it was lava, this is all wood. You know, it would just the whole the whole butt would just burn down. Just like that, you know? So Now, you don't want to go too low or else you will hit the death barrier and die, but if you just spam A, then that's good. And it kind of tires out your, tires out, is that the right word? Tires out? I mean, it, may, it might make your thumb a little tired, but if you have, if you have turbo, that's not the case, but I don't have turbo. I'm playing on like an original controller here. Did I seriously just die from boom boom, bro? No way I just died from Boom Boom. That is ridiculous. I haven't died from Boom Boom in years, bro. I'm not over exaggerating. At least you don't think I am. You're kidding me, bro. Luckily, like, even after you get a game over, these levels, these, like, airship-like levels, uh, they won't. They won't, they won't, you don't have to do it again. You do have to do, like, the regular levels again. Well, but, come on. I'm down here. I'm down here now. But basically, you're invulnerable. The only thing that can kill you is falling, which... You don't even have to, like, spam it, spam it, like. You don't have to, like, go as fast as you can, even. Dang, you just 
swim under this whole thing. And it's, it's cool. Here we go. We're back. I cannot believe I, just, I died from Boom Boom. So embarrassing. I'm better than that. I'm better than that. I'm better than this. I'm better. Kaboom. I've got the question mark ball. Boom. Go here. Cool. And then we got this part. Which, there's hands that grab you and bring you to these levels, which aren't that hard. Especially this one. The middle one is probably the easiest. Just gotta dodge these lava bubbles. See, that's lava. And I do die if I touch that. I guess the water was just red because of the lighting. Or Bowser dyed it red. All right, there. I'm gonna get this leaf. Cause this level, not only does it auto scroll like super fast, but you know, I mean, having having a, having a leaf helps a lot. Having a leaf makes it a lot easier. Cause like, you got all these little tiny airships. So there's clouds, and I thought this was a, uh, I thought this was like a dungeon. I thought this was like, I thought this was like a cave, but apparently not. Did I seriously just die, bro? Bro, did I seriously just die from that? I'm gonna purposely go down here so I can get a leaf. Cause, ooh, I hate this part. I hate this level. You get my cheap cheeps. Oh, come on. Don't. Don't. If I just run for it, can I, can I survive? Run. We're getting that. We're getting that thing. When he has wings, you gotta hit him immediately, or else he'll start flying, and it's stupid. It, go, it becomes a lot harder, so just be sure to get him quick. All right, then you go down here, which I don't understand these those level parts. Why can't I just go into the pipe and just teleport where I want to go? But, like, come. On. Anyways. Oh my gosh, so stupid. Oh, come on. 
Oh, come on. Ah. Hardly any power-ups. Stupid fireballs. Come on. I gotta do me like that. Whoop! Oh, I thought I was about, I thought I was about to die there. I don't think I'm jumping. <gasps> no, dude! Man, that's so stupid. Bro, you gotta be. Are you serious right now, bro? Are you serious? Are you serious? Burn it, burn it, burn it. Burn it, burn it, burn it. Mushroom. Always want this mushroom. Woo! Um, see how good I am? This is skill right here. You can actually, you can actually kill those boos with a uh, with shells. Um. Anyways. Okay. All right. All right. Perfect timing there. Great! Well, I usually don't die until after I get that mush that one up mushroom, which is good. Oh come on! Serious or not? Could have jumped later. Earlier. Should have hit it earlier. No, I did. Focus. You really gotta focus with these games, bro. Oh, come on. Dude, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Did. I just had to do it. I had to go. At least I got that one up before that. So like, you know, if I can just keep on getting that one up, I'll like never get a game over. Dude, how does that happen? How does that happen? No, I'm not gonna die. Glad I was ducked. Right, I'm gonna try to hit this. Dude! You serious right now, bro? You serious right now, bro? Don't. Only when I'm recording, bro. Only when I'm recording. Not blink enough in this game, bro. Dude, one more time and I'm dead. Just don't. Well, there's one up there from 100 coins. That's that's sick. Crap. Come on, come on, baby. Uh -huh. Oh, it's probably from that and like the other coins. Yes! You know what? I'm 
actually, wait, I had no clue there was a, a that in there. A that. A that. Right, this is gonna be a little bit tricky. I wanna hit this boo. Aha! Got him. Don't take chances, don't take chances. Wait, I think I can build up enough speed here. I just don't get hit by that bull bill. But yeah, there's not enough room. Just... Yes! Is that the first time I've, ma I've managed to get past that? Gosh. Oh, actually, no, I think... I keep on dying right here. Okay. We gotta like run. Wait, hold up! No! Okay, there. Let's go! Oh, uh, if I just got a star, I would have. If I just got a, if I just got a star, I would have gotten like five lives. That's so stupid. Anyways, we're here, and uh, this level actually has a secret. If you just go down here, you end up in the secret area. And then you can go down here, and there's a this. It's an, uh, a leaf, a super leaf. Yeah. All right. Could I perhaps? Yeah, I think I could. I think I could run down the hill and just fly. Got me. As long as it's just like not too far. No way. Even if it, even if I just stop like above it, we just like. Star. Most of the time, if you just like run and get it and run and jump, you almost always get a star. All right. Now this is like a confusing level. Cause like there's like a million doors and only and only like you have to take a, a very cer a very specific set of doors to find the true one but i haven't memorized uh it's not that hard to remember you just go in there and then Oh, I need that. I need that. More than more than fire flower. There's not even any enemies in this castle I can kill with a fire flower. Oh, come on. Think you can do it? Yes, you go in here. Then you run. You get this P-switch. Collect that coin so you can fall just straight down here. I mean, if you don't, you can just go around, but... Then hit this piece, which don't go into that door, go into this door, and then you'll be right here. You just gotta wait for the conveyor belt, conveyor belt to move, and then boom, boom. Which okay, he's not that hard, and then get the, the thing, boom. One, I, I did it. Which, this is actually the right way? Or is it? I think, yeah, th this is the right way. Okay, and then you go to go in here. Now this one is a little bit, is a little bit hard, but, I mean, it's not that bad. Or was it just lucky, I don't know. Just, just, uh, just avoid the attacks. Just do your best. <sighs> and good.
die. Gosh. Because I only have... Mm. Woo! Woo! Mm. Rocky wrench. Yes. Don't die from Boom Boom. How about that? Let's go! Kaboom. And look at that! We're at... We're at Bowser's Castle. Bowser's... Castle. Here we go. Alright. So. Bowser's Castle is a little confusing. But just go the way I go and you should be good. So... Uh, Whoa, well, I'm just that. Gotta dodge these electric waffles. That's what I call them. Electric waffles. I mean, that's what they look like. Alright, there we go. Then... Go here. Whoosh. Oh, come on. So, I like to go here to get this uh, mushroom here. And if you, getting up here, if you can build up just enough speed. Or you can do this. You can just like also in this game the donut block they don't reappear once they fall in later games they do but in but in earlier games like mario 3 they don't is it only mario 3 i don't know but like donut blocks like they don't reappear also you want to let that block fall a bit dodge these lasers Final Bowser fight, and if I could just not die, that would be amazing. Kaboom. Woo! Should be much of an issue, right? Kaboom. Go in here. And boom! Beat the game. Again. This is the second time I've beaten it, but this time, on camera. So yeah. Thank you. But our princess is in another castle. Just kidding. Ha ha ha. Goodbye. Bye. What was I? Goodbye? Bye-bye. Turn shut, even though there's like white parts on the curtains this time. I guess I got new curtains, like mid mid playthrough. Anyways, world one, grassland. World two, desert land. World three, water land. World 4, Giant Land. World 5, Skyland. World 6, Iceland. World 7, Pipe Land. And World 8, Darkland. The 
end. Now, most NES games, I mean the previous ones, um, you can't do anything at the end screen. You just had to restart the console. But, if you press start, which also, see, the curtains at the end, they look different than the curtains at the beginning. See, look at the curtains at the end. They got, like, white parts on them. No white parts. Like, what's up with that? Anyways. Uh, if you start the game back, your inventory will be full of P-Wings. Just like, full. Now, I used to think you had infinite, but that's actually not the case. You just have, like, your entire inventory. It's just full of penguins, of pee wings. So, that's cool. And, uh, anyways, guys, yeah. So, yeah, guys, uh, that's, that's that. So, anyways, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you never miss. So, you miss? Let's just say miss. So, you never miss. 80 of my future uploads, and I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye.